Hi there, today we're taking a look at the Sinclair ZX Spectrum and uh, as you know from my other repair videos the ZX Spectrum is the computer that I always compare the others to and I guess this is because I have owned one uh, from 1982 onwards and I used that for five years in a row I know it's very limited uh, limited graphics, limited sound but I really learned a lot using this machine and um, I started from knowing absolutely nothing to writing uh, assembly language and uh, hand compiling code using this um, over these five years. So I was uh, quite happy with the Spectrum. I had some issues with the Spectrum, uh, mostly the rubbish keyboard and also the poor service from Sinclair itself. But yeah, I used it and I was happy with it. And uh, the little black and white TV that is uh, behind here that I also use in my repair videos is the exact TV that I used uh, for all those five years. So if we take a look what I have on the bench here today, I have my original rubber keyboard Sinclair that I later got upgraded. I think after four years of use I upgraded it to the ZX Spectrum Plus, which is this one. And it's supposed to have a better keyboard. And I guess it is better than the rubber one, but it's still junk. But the good thing about the Spectrum Plus is that it also had a reset switch so you don't have to unplug and uh, plug back in the power supply each time. Other stuff I have on the bench is uh, the ZX Spectrum Expansion Kit. Uh, this is a ZX Interface 1 which is interface for LAN and networking and uh, for micro drive support. And this is original as well, this is mine that I bought back in uh, 83 or 84. I have a Kempston joystick interface. I think in those days Kempston was uh, the de facto standard for joysticks. I have another little joystick here called Ram Turbo and uh, I'm not sure what that is all about. Then I have the Bipack Zonex which is uh, basically uh, an audio expansion box with a little loudspeaker. This is using one of those uh, General Electric AY3 something audio chips. Uh, of course there was practically no software that used this, but uh, you could write your own, uh, which I did. Then I have this thing here, which I really loved. This is the Cura Micro Speech, and uh, it's using a speech synthesizer chip. There were games using this. I even have some games that I typed in from uh, Your Computer Magazine and using this, and uh, some adventure games where you were typing stuff in and uh, and the goblin would speak to you through through this. So that was really cool. Then I have a Trojan light pen. I have never used that. I never got it to work. Uh, but anyway, um, I got that. Then behind the expansion system, uh, behind here I have actually three different spectrums. And uh, they're all good in their own way. Uh, I have this one here which I bought on eBay. This is a 48k Spectrum and it's in really good condition. And the only problem with it is that uh, someone drilled a hole in the box for a reset switch. Uh, so I've been looking around for a better quality, a uh, better looking machine for my collection. And uh, I found this one up here quite recently. And this is in really good condition. Uh, both the keyboard and uh, everything. And this is also a 48k machine. Then I have a 16k machine. And uh, actually when I bought my first machine, it was a 16K machine and um, later on I had it expanded to 48K. Uh, I have of course uh, the Sinclair printer and uh, some other printer stuff uh, elsewhere. But uh, finally I have this one. I don't know if you can see it. But first of all it does say Sinclair ZX Spectrum in a recessed on a metal uh, label here. And uh, then it has some grooves here all the way along. And it's not in good condition, but I think it's quite unique. Okay, and I found it. Uh, my computer is called a Sinclair TS2000. And it says, this prototype of the Spectrum was assembled in Portugal, but never saw a full release. They were intended for the Portuguese and American markets. So uh, there's the picture of it. There you go. And uh, it's basically identical to what we have here. Except mine is in a worse condition. Uh, but still, this is the real thing. A prototype Spectrum. 
Uh, I think today we will open a normal ZX Spectrum and uh, we will open this one here um, and I think it's the same main board inside. I don't think there's anything uh, fancy about this machine. So uh, yeah, uh, let's open one of them up and uh, see what is inside. Okay, so there we got it. This is my Spectrum, the 16K one. Uh, this one is in really good condition. Also comes with a manual, uh, some production and uh, then there's a couple of uh, games. The Horizon uh, cassette and the Horace Go Skiing. And I remember the Horizon tape. There was just one game on this tape and that was Breakout and we were playing that non-stop when I got the computer home. In fact, uh, my friend's father, he bought a Spectrum just because of that game. You can say that is a junk game today, but back then, woo, we have never seen anything like it before. I was from a small town, we didn't have Pac-Man or any other arcade games and uh, wow, that was amazing. But uh, okay, anyway, let's not talk too much. Let's <laughs> You can see the keyboard is here. It's very similar to the ZX81 keyboard actually. Just goes in through here and uh, the rubber keys are on top. Okay, so this is the internals of the ZX Spectrum. Uh, we have on top here the voltage regulator. Uh, this is a linear regulator, it's not a switch mode regulator. Uh, the coil here is just for removing some uh, noise. Then we have of course the Z80 CPU and this one is from Zilog, the, an original one, uh, not the one from NEC. And uh, then we have ROM, we have the ULA which is uh, combining all the logic. And um, we have some RAM down here, we have 16K obviously. And we have some empty sockets if we want to add more. On the back here you can't see it but the edge connector is here. And uh, this is just the empty piece of PCB with fingers on it. Then we have a cassette in and cassette out and um, in this corner here we have the video output and uh, the video is generated by the ULA obviously and uh, then it gets uh, through to this chip which is an LM1883. Uh, this chip takes the red, green and blue and combines it into a composite sync and adds the PAL color burst and then it goes to the little uh, modulator here that will uh, modulate it up and send it to the TV at, on channel 36. So yeah, the Spectrum is actually quite full of components, despite of having a ULA for taking care of most of the logic. But uh, most of them are discrete components. They are capacitors and resistors and diodes for the keyboard here. And uh, there's a little amplifier for the loudspeaker. And uh, that's basically it. It's a really simple machine. Okay, so I plugged in my Spectrum and uh, there's a display on it. And I have this little tape recorder here and uh, let's plug in here and mic and uh, plugging that in to the spectrum as well yeah and mic like that and uh, here's my cassette tape with the game on it it's not called breakout it's called through the wall so there's my cassette player let's pop in the game rewind See, that's how real men play games. Okay, and on the Spectrum load. Chick chick. Okay, it's ready to load. My monitor is uh, the same old black and white TV that I used as a kid. And uh, let's just get it going. So, press play. And uh, we should be ready to load the game. Woo! See all those pink and blue lines. Bip! Side B. It's gorgeous and it still works. So this is real stuff for real men. Oh! Wow! See it loading. The whole screen takes up 16k of memory. So. Uh, See how quickly we can do that. And now we're putting on the paint afterwards. 
stop the tape. Ah, see, this is the contents of the tape. So, through the wall, my favorite game of all times, file name wall. Blah, 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 start the tape. I can't wait to play this game. Come on, it's so exciting, come on. Quickly, yes. Woohoo. Program wall. Wow, look at this. Serious business type applications and intellectual games. So that is really cool. That is why we bought the Spectrum. And that was part of it. And we're loading a bit more. Oh, I want to play. Come on. More than a minute soon. Ah, stop the tape. Let's play, let's play, let's play. Throw the wall. Yes. Oh, my favorite game. Wow, there we go. I think I could reach level two back then. So I'll leave you here and uh, thank you for watching and see you again soon. Oh, the sound effects are brilliant.